The PowerMaster 3302 is a revolutionary piece of field test equipment which utilities use to verify billing and metering accuracy on revenue metering sites. It easily detects revenue loss by ensuring the metering site is wired correctly and that the meter and instrument current transformers are accurate under real-world conditions. The PowerMaster 3302 is a handheld, lightweight device which features a true three-phase reference standard with 0.05% accuracy traceable to NIST thus making it four times more accurate than most meters under test and six times more accurate than most CTs under test. At Powermetrics, we take the safety of your metering personnel very seriously. That is why we designed the 3 Series with CAT4 600V safety compliance. It is the only product in its class manufactured in the United States to offer you this extra level of protection. For today's demonstration, we will be completing a full site audit on a Form 9S three-phase four-wire Y installation with 200 to 5 CTs. The PowerMaster 3302 measures the exact same secondary currents and voltages as the meter by hooking directly to the test switch. It measures the primary currents on site using one of our many different types of primary current probes. For this test, we will be using three 36-inch FlexCore CTs. The 3302 must also count the meter revolutions or watt-hour pulses the meter outputs. For this test, we will be using our magnetic IR pulse detector. Now let's start the test. On the right side of the full color screen, you can see there are four hotkey buttons. These hotkeys show the voltage and current waveforms on site, the vector diagram, the RMS data table, which shows numerical values for volts, amps, watts, vars, VA, phase angle, power factor, etc., per phase, and as a three-phase average. And the harmonics on the site for voltage and current, complete with total harmonic distortion. All these screens can be saved individually, but are automatically saved during the customer load meter test. This data is highly valuable to ensure that the site is wired correctly. The most efficient way to test a metering site is to use the PowerMaster's Integrated Site Testing menu. Integrated Site Testing was pioneered by PowerMetrics and offers the user an easy-to-follow, step-by-step procedure to test the entire site. We start the test by scrolling to Integrated Site Test and pressing Enter. You will see that for this Integrated Site Test, we are performing a customer load meter test, which includes vector diagram, waveform, harmonics, and RMS data, a CT ratio test, which includes both amplitude error and phase angle error, and then finally we will also measure the burden on the secondary of the CTs to make sure they are not overburdened with respect to their nameplate burden rating. We then simply hit F6 to continue. The 3302 detects which primary probes we have connected and verifies that the probes are correct for the types of tests we wish to perform. It also shows a detailed wiring diagram for the type of site we are testing. We hit F6 to continue. The 3302 then shows us a live vector diagram to ensure that we have our secondary voltage and current probes correctly positioned before we actually start collecting test data. We hit F6 to continue. The 3302 now begins the first portion of the integrated site test, the customer load meter test. It validates that the signals we are monitoring match the service type, and then waits until a meter pulse is detected. We then press F6 to continue. The 3302 will calculate and display the percent registration of the meter under test, updating the percent registration after each meter pulse. Remember that during this test, the 3302 is automatically saving the vector diagram, waveforms, harmonics, and RMS data. At the conclusion of this test, the meter was well within its accuracy specification, so we can press F6 to continue. For another level of validation, the 3302 again detects which primary probes we have connected and verifies that the probes are correct for the types of tests we are going to perform. We hit F6 to continue. The 3302 now performs the CT ratio test on all three phases. 
you can see that for all phases, the measured ratio was well within accuracy limits. The 3302 also displays the primary and secondary amps, as well as the phase error between those two signals. If the amplitude error and phase error are within the IEEE specifications for CT accuracy, the 3302 will display pass or fail. For this test, all three phases passed, so we simply press F6 to continue. The 3302 then enters the CT burden measurement test. We will simply need to move our voltage connections to measure the voltage drop across the secondary terminals of the CT. We will press F6 to continue. After we have moved our secondary voltage clips to the appropriate location, we will press F6 to start the test for each phase. The 3302 calculates the burden on the CT by measuring the voltage drop across that CT and dividing that value by the secondary current. This simple calculation results in the amount of ohms, or burden, on the CT. The CTs we are testing are rated at 0.5 ohms, so we can easily see that none of our CTs are overburdened. That completes the integrated site test. By pressing F6, all data is saved in the database and can be easily shared throughout the utility. In just a few minutes, you have completely audited the metering site. As long as the billing multiplier in the utility's billing system is correct, you can be sure that there is no revenue loss and you can move on to the next site you would like to test. If you have any questions about this demonstration, please let us know. Thank you for your time, and as always, be safe out there when you're testing.